Mwanda, a once flourishing mining town. For half a century, some of the world's biggest uranium mines worked in this region. In 1999, the Komaf mine was shut down due to falling world uranium prices. But environmental activists say mining activity has led to the pollution of rivers and soil. Global Nuclear Watchdog, the IAEA, has also instructed local houses be destroyed. Residents accuse the French umbrella company Arriva of knowingly exposing employees and residents to harmful material. We were not aware that there was radioactivity. We were only told later when they started examining us. But two years later, they're still not telling us what we suffer from. Our medical results have never been released. No medication was prescribed. No one was compensated. But mine management says they were warned from the start about the health risks. The problem was that at the beginning the employees didn't understand why we asked them to protect themselves. We constantly had to ask them to carry their dosimeters. But towards the end of the mine exploration, people had become better educated and informed and measures were taken at the time to protect the employees. In 2011, Arriva launched an initiative to treat the former miners. Victims say this was only because of years of pressure from local NGOs. Miners now have some hope though. The commission set up to investigate these claims is due to release its findings in the coming months. Know more about your world. ENCA.com